Flacco under pressure, steps up in the pocket, fires down the seam, complete to Kamar Aiken, who is drilled in the back. Ball comes loose at the 36-yard line, but they're going to whistle it dead on the reception at the 33, and now a flag is thrown. Yeah, I thought they'd call a penalty a on that. Huge uh, pile up, a huge pile up as the Redskins try to advance the fumble. The officials have already blown the play dead, and now Steve Smith Sr. has to be separated. It's not worth it, Steve. It's not worth it. Chris Culliver, a former San Francisco 49er, John Harbaugh, John Harbaugh. running out yep. onto the field. He knows you got to get his guy away. Hey, Culliver is one thing, but Steve Smith Sr., you got to have him <laughs> come opening day. Come on now. And the officials are telling Steve Smith Sr., get away from the Redskins bench. John Harbaugh running out on the field to pull his players back. That looked like a pile drive tackle that they used. And now Harbaugh oh, wow. is getting into a shouting match with Jay Gruden. Wow. Let's see the handshakes after this game. <laughs> Jay Gruden said something to Harbaugh after he had run across the field to pull his players back. And John Harbaugh fired right back at Jay Gruden, who is now screaming to the officials, <laughs> complaining that Harbaugh had come across the field. Yeah, but he was by, coming across for a good reason. But by rule, John Harbaugh is not allowed to run across the field, correct? Well, no, you're not. But uh, it's preseason. <laughs> Keenan Robinson, I think he was the one who kind of started the whole melee. Look at this tackle. Isn't this a I mean, pile this is, drive? This is, this is Robinson. Isn't He's, that a pile yeah. drive? There are multiple fouls in the play. Unnecessary roughness. 29 defense. 39 defense. 23 defense. 11 offense and 89 offense. Number 89 of the offense is disqu disqualified. Number 29 of the defense is disqualified. Wow. Wow. So Terry McCauley not jerking around. From the pistol, Murray plows for the first down. Out near the 35, good block from Lawan for Tennessee. And some activity along the sideline. This is spilled over. They're going after Harry Douglas. Officials trying to get in there. It's an all-out scrum. Uh, Keep to lead uh, started it uh, along with Douglas there. To lead when uh, Harris was on the ground was jawing at Harris. They zeroed in on Harry Douglas. The previous play was a low block on Chris Harris Jr. Nobody came off the bench, which would have been an automatic penalty. So Talib and Douglas. After the play was over, personal foul, defense, number 21, automatic first down. Talib lost his helmet of the process and it escalated quickly. In the backfield. On second down and eight, Rogers steps up and takes off. And he will bring it all the way into the end zone for a Packers touchdown and then took a lead hit after he scored. Again. I love the response by the Green Bay Packer team. You have to defend your quarterback in situations like this. I felt that Aaron Rodgers was going to make it in clean. We'll see where the hit is. It's close to the goal line. Now remember, we already lost Taylor Lewan in a similar situation. There's the hit right there. He is well inside Parrish. A fight is broken out in the 30-yard line. You see him moving around Kessler and that movement. Remember, he's a big time basketball player in high school, so he has athletic ability. Now we're going to take a look at where all the flags came from. That's and it Cameron looks like Irving and David Irving, no relation. So we have Irving on Irving crime going on, right? Cam Irving, the center, David Irving, a defensive tackle. They get After tangled the up. 
personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 94, 95 of the defense. Also, personal foul, number, number 74 of the offense. Their actions disqualified both players from the game. So now your starting center is gone for Cleveland as we see the end of this. Cam Irving and David Irving. David Irving, number 95 in blue. Cam Irving, number 74 in white. Starting center, they just said disqualified, right, Chris? Well, and starting center is now gone. To me, that's about this. Tressway punts it. Good kick. Scrolls up. Oh, he gets blasted. The ball is loose, and there's a flag. To Shazer Everett, and now there's a scrum breaking loose. And it's ugly. That was a high, hard shot on Sproles. And the Eagles standing up with their teammate. Mm. see this in regular speed it was so loud within the stadium <laughs> definitely contact to the head and neck area by the safe the Shazer effort he is defenseless the ball had not even arrived Sproles definitely defenseless and I gotta tell you I don't blame these Eagles remembered Everett already took out Brent Selleck. Now Darren Sproles down on the ground. And I don't blame those Eagles for going out and defending their teammate. Now you see a lot of hits nowadays, John, when you know head and shoulders end up going up high on someone that it happens. That one was avoidable. And Sproles lays. Oh my down. word! Come on. Did he just really shove Jacoby Brissett for? I guess he's on that other side of 50. Is that what? Are you allowed to do that, Kurt? What do you think? Man, I guess he's Brissett running on, on their come side on, of the man. field. This is moments ago. Come on. In New England. Wow. Barking at each other. After the coach. Where, Where are the he, officials? He ran down their sideline. Yeah, can line? we show that again? Because Kurt just what? walked back on the set as did everybody else. Can we recap? Can we re-rack as they say in the television business? Meanwhile, it's third and goal right now in, in, oh in God, London as Andrew Luck just cannot be protected for their life of it. Take take one more look at this. Irv, take a look at this over here. Oh, oh come on. Oh, man. that's good. What's this all about? What is that all about? Shove the quarterback. Go play football. Oh, thanks. You don't shove the quarterback. Oh, look at him. He didn't shove the quarterback. He shoved the receiver. Look at William pushing I guess Rex is the troops all salty, to say the least. Well, they should find that dude for pushing the coach like that. Now, that's something right there. Well, meanwhile, you Andrew learn Luck today. just found T.Y. Hilton in the end zone for a touchdown. Stay on your side of the Down field. Down four with seven minutes to go. Plenty more to come. We'll keep an eye on London and what's going wow. on in New England. Second and nine. Good play action for Find some time, gets away from to it. Here comes Harrison chasing. Moore, oh my goodness, Moore is absolutely walloped. I don't know how he's going to get up. Penalty. Oh boy, that was Bud Dupree, who got to him in the first quarter on a vicious hit, clean hit, but this time flag is out, and I uh, he was walloped as hard as you'll see it. And here come the Dolphins after Dupree. From the game. Well, Reed felt he got cheap shotted by Trey Boston earlier, and this time. Ooh. He throws a punch, and that'll get you ejected every time. One hundred ninety five yards throwing, and you saw this going to break. Des Bryant and Josh Norman face to face. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll come back to the State Farm Post Game Show after this. Tressway punts it. Good kick. Scrolls up. Oh, he gets blasted. The ball is loose, and there's a flag. 
to Shazer Everett, and now there's a scrum breaking loose.